सो हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सेंट मैप आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय सेशन ऑफ डेली न्यूज एनालिसिस एंड द करंट अफेयर्स शो एंड दिस इज द करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ डे टुडे दैट इज फ्राइडे 3 नवंबर 2023 सो लेट्स बिगिन विद आवर न्यूज नंबर 1 सो द न्यूज नंबर 1 इज सेइंग दैट इट इज एन इंटरनेशनल न्यूज ऑफ इंडिया एंड यूएई स्ट्रेंथन एजुकेशनल टाइज with landmark mou mou means memorandum of understanding so let's read the news so the news is saying that in abu dhabi is india's union education minister and skill development entrepreneurship minister dharmendra pradhan remember the name dharmendra pradhan is what dharmendra pradhan hold with position so india's union education skill development and entrepreneurship minister and the minister of education of uae dr ahmed l al falasi signed a comprehensive memorandum of understanding that is mou which aims to fortify existing educational cooperations between two countries the primary objective of this mou is to facilitate the students and faculty mobility thus enhancing collaboration in the education sector key point furthermore the mou aims to promote the exchange of critical information in various domains the mou also paves the way of cooperation in the field of capacity development with technical and vocational education training that is tvet teaching staff okay to ensure the seamless implementation of this transformative agreement the mou will lead to the creation of joint working group so the joint working group chaired alternatively by a representative from ministry of education in india and ministry of education from ua this significant development signifies the commitment of both india and ue to foster thriving collaboration spirit facilitating the enhance of knowledge experiences resource to elevate educational standard and opportunities for their respective citizen so it's a good deal between india and ue the question is that recently the union minister dharmendra pradhan and uae education minister dr ahmed al falasi signed a mou to strengthen the existing cooperation between two countries in which field so in field of education in field of education so two important fact that india's union education and skill development entrepreneurship minister is dharmendra pradhan and minister of education for the uae is dr ahmed al falasi let's read news number 2 the news number 2 is saying that india's born author nandini das is a winner of 2023 british academy book prize for global culture understanding so it's again a great news for all indians that india born author Nandini Das is a winner of 2023 British Academy Book Prize for Global Cultural and Understanding. So India born author Nandini Das has been named the winner of 2023 British Academy Book Prize for Global Culture Understanding a leading international non-fiction for the book Coalting India England Mughal India and the Origin of Empire. Das is a professor of English literature at University of Oxford. Okay. The winning of the winning book is her debut and has been described by critics as the true origin story of Britain and India told through England's first diplomatic mission to the Mughal court. The author has sought to present a new perspective on the origin of empire through the story of arrival of the first english ambassador in india as you all know that is sir thomas row in the early 17th century the british academy book prize so some fact about the british academy book prize that formerly known as nayef al rodhan prize was established in 2013 to reward and celebrate the best work of non fiction that demonstrate rigor and originality and have contributed to public understanding of other world cultures and their interactions so the question arises from this is name the india born indian born author who has been named the winner of 2023 british academy book prize 
for global culture understanding so the name is nandini das okay now the news number 3 is that 28 countries including india us uk european union sign world first agreement to contain risk associated with artificial intelligence as you all know that in 21st century belongs to artificial intelligence but people also know their pros and cons so people if enjoying that the pros of ai in the same manner they are fearing about the cons or the negative side of ai so the news is saying that 28 countries including india us uk and european union european union means all europe sign world first agreement to contain risk associated with artificial intelligence so i have signed the world first agreement of ai and what it is known it is known as bletchley declaration okay bletchley declaration uh, declaration pledging to work together to assess the risk of associated with artificial intelligence the uk government kicked off the two day event at britain's world war 2 code breaking center in the bletchley park the declaration is a landmark achievement that sees the world greatest ai powers agree on the urgency behind understanding the risk of ai this is very important it's it is showing that the declaration is a landmark landmark achievement why because the world greatest ai power agree on the urgency behind understanding the risk of ai helping ensure the long term future of our children and grandchildren so artificial intelligence is a simulation of human intelligence process by machine especially computer system okay so how many countries including india us uk and european union have signed the world first agreement to prevent risk associated with artificial intelligence correct answer is 28 okay now question number uh, sorry news number 4 is that ashwarya pratap singh tomar wins gold medal in asian shooting championship in shangwon south korea now ashwarya pratap singh tomar has won gold medal in men 50 meter rifle three position individual event at asian shooting championship in shangwon south korea the 22 year old tomar shot 463.5 in the final to win the gold the indian trio of tomar swapnil and kusale and akhil shiron won the team silver with total score of 1764 okay so another good news for all of us the india picked up four more medal on the concluding day including gold in the trap mix competition through prithvi raj to naiman and manisha kher with tomar's gold india ended the championship in second place in the medal tally with 55 medal including 21 gold 21 silver and 13 bronze india has already secured a maximum of two possible olympic quota place in this event through kusale and shoren kusale and had won the paris games quota during the world championship in cairo last year shoron did the same in this year's world championship in baku now who has won the gold medal in men 50 rifle three position individual event at asian shooting championship in shangwon south korea correct answer is ashwar pratap singh now another name from national sport that is national games in goa mc sojan of kerala clinches gold in women long jump event so at the ongoing 37 national games in goa skill speed and strategy are on display the thrill of lawn tennis hockey cpec takro football and athletics and taekwondo can be seen in this these games in women's long jump asian silver medalist ansi sojan of kerala backed the gold medal shilpa rani of haryana got yellow medal in the javelin throw in the women's javelin throw now vridwal khade proved his dominance in swimming smashing his own record of 50 meter freestyle so all of the listers list of the champions are given below and uh, 
let's read this point in the men's decathlon event tejaswin shankar of delhi won the gold medal with rohit ruman of the service sports control becoming a runner up now most of the person are thinking should we memorize each and every name the answer is no you don't have to memorize each and every name just say read the news skip the news after reading it skip it tamil nadu's men team and andhra pradesh women team won the rally of 4 into 100 meter relay meanwhile maharashtra continued its dominance in the game it bagged 133 medals 55 gold service sports control board remained at the second position while haryana stood the third position another question is who win gold medal in women's long jump event on the ongoing 37 national games in goa and see sojan now let's read some fintech news or financial news so zurich insurance to acquire 51 state in kotak general insurance so zurich insurance will acquire 51% stake in kotak general insurance for 74051 crore via combination of fresh growth capital and store purchase it will acquire additional stake of 19% within a period of 3 years okay the proposed transaction value kotak general insurance at nearly 77943 uh, crore core sorry core on post money valuation kotak mahindra group pan india's digital distribution presence and zurich distinct global capability in digital asset b2b and b2c format have the potential to create transformation digital impact of kotak general insurance franchisee delivering innovation efficiently and rapidly in india indian general insurance space now let's read some fact about the zurich insurance company so founded in 1872 headquarter is all zurich switzerland chairman is michael lies ceo is mario greco so according to the recent news how much percent stake will zurich insurance acquire in kotak general that is 51 percent <coughs> Now the next news is coming from France announces 100 million euro loan to support India smart city mission okay France has announced a euro 100 million loan to support India's flagship smart cities mission and built on cities one program France minister of state for development francophonie and international part uh, partnerships now i don't know how to pronounce this Shri Saula, Shri Saula, Zakharo Polu. So I'm really very sorry. I don't know how to pronounce this. So we, I can say that CZ. Okay. So international partnership CZ announced the conclusion of Euro 100 million loan and agreed between French Development Agency, that is AFD, and Indian government. The loan support India's innovative flagship. Smart cities and built on the cities one program supported by the European Union, implemented by the National Institute. Okay, so in India it is implemented by the National Institute of Urban Affairs, a think tank under the auspices of Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. So, CITES 1.0 program launched in 2018 has to date benefited 12 city level projects, supporting them to build capacities, implement innovative solution for sustainable mobility, public open space, urban e-governance, ICT, social and organizational innovation in low-income settlement. Okay. So how much loan France announced to support India's flagship smart city mission to build CITES 1 program that is 100 million euros. So it, it is a very huge amount. Now, Putin signs bill revoking ratification of global nuclear test ban treaty. So you all know that president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, has signed a law revoking the country's ratification of the comprehensive nuclear test ban treaty. The bill to de-ratify the CTBT, that is Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty was earlier approved by 156 votes to zero in Upper House of Russia's Parliament. Russia will not resume testing un unless the United States does. As you all know that there is a big war between 
USA and USSR nowadays is Russia. So Russia is claiming that Russia will not resume testing unless United States does. If US does, then Russia will also do it. So the CTBT adopted in 1996 bans all nuclear exposure, sorry, explosions anywhere in the world. But the treaty was never fully implemented. In addition to United States, it has yet to be ratified by China, India, Pakistan, North Korea, Israel, Iran and Egypt. So some fact about Russia. Capital is Moscow. Currency is Russian ruble. Prime Minister is Mikhail. And President is Vladimir Putin. So recently the President of which country has signed a law revoking country's ratification of comprehensive nuclear test ban treaty that is Russia. Now let's come on our next news. So the next news is saying that word of the year Collins Dictionary crown AI as a winner for 2023. So another news coming from the segment of artificial intelligence that is Collins Dictionary. So we all use Collins Dictionary at our times has declared AI the abbreviation of artificial intelligence as word of the year 2023. Okay. The decision was made by the lexicographers at Colin Dictionary who observed a significant increase in the usage of this term making it dominant conversation of year. Previously lockdown was the word of the year. Okay, so in 2020 the lockdown is the word of the year and Brexit held this title in 2016. In addition to AI, Colin Dictionary included noteworthy words in its list. So Nepo Baby a phrase used to describe the children of celebrities who have succeeded in industries similar to those of their parents. So I think Nepo belongs to nepotism. So greedflation refers to the companies making profit during the cost of living crisis. Okay. ULCZ, yeah, ULCZ, the ultra low emission zone that penalize driver for most polluting car in London. Social media terms like de-influencing or de-influencing which means to warn followers to avoid certain commercial product. Baseball is a term inspired by New Zealand cricketer and coach Brendan McCullen known as Baz who promote a philosophy of relaxed mind, aggressive tactics, positive energy. And Parma crisis defined as extended period of instability and insecurity, which was Colleen World of Year 2022. So Colleen's Dictionary has announced Dash as a World of Year 2023. So it is artificial intelligence. And 2022, so it is Parma Crisis. Okay. Now read the news of what are electoral bonds and what is the controversy. So what are electoral bonds? So the government implemented on electoral bonds in 2018. The government has notified the scheme to cleanse the system of political funding. Okay. The concept behind these bonds was to reduce the influence of black money in politics and provide a legal and transparent mechanism for individual and corporations to contribute political parties. The electoral bonds would be a bearer instrument in case of bearer instrument, generally no own, own ownership, no ownership information is recorded and the holder of document is assumed to, to be the owner. The convo, uh, controversy behind is that according to a report released by Association for Democratic Reform, that is ADR, in March 2023, over 66% of total income of seven national parties came from electoral bonds and unknown sources. The seven national parties are BJP, obviously, Congress, Trinmool Congress, Nationalist Congress, CPI, CPIM, and Meghalaya based National People Party. So the seven parties collected 2,172 crore from unknown sources in 2021-22, and 83 percent of that income is that 1,811.94 crore came through electoral bonds. So the purpose of electoral bonds didn't serve, but it 
created a chaos. So in which year Indian government implemented the electoral bond scheme to in order to cleanse the system of political funding that is 2018. So it's time for our the current affairs show that is we I will give you question from 1 to 10 in MCQ form and you have to answer it at your own. So read question number 1. Question number 1 is saying what? David Willey who has announced his retirement from all format of cricket hail from which country? So David Willey who has announced his retirement from all format of the crickets hail from which country? England, Australia, New Zealand or Ireland? Correct answer as you all know that England. So let's read the news. England all rounder David Willey announced that he will retire from international cricket after the end of ongoing World Cup. Willey's decision has come a week after England cricket board excluded him from the list of cricketers who were offered central contract from 2023-24 season. Okay. Now question number two. Recently Goa High Court has ordered to create a tiger reserve in which wildlife sanctuary? Netravali, Mondla, Medhai or Kotiago or Kotigao, sorry, Kotigao. So Netravali, Bondla, Madhai or Kotigao. So the correct answer is Madhai. That is option number C. And it is a very important news because after some time it will become static GK. Okay. So the Goa bench of Bombay High Court issued a significant directive to Goa government regarding the establishment of Tiger Reserve in Madhai Wildlife Sanctuary and the neighboring regions. The Madhai Wildlife Sanctuary is 208.5 km square protected area in Indian state of Goa, Western Ghat of South India. It is located in North Goa district, Sattari Taluka, near the town of Valpoi. Okay. Now, question number three. <clears throat> Which Indian Institute of Technology has incubated a startup built robot to clean petrol tank? IIT Madras, Delhi, Guwahati, or Kanpur? So the correct answer is IIT Guwahati. The correct answer is IIT Guwahati. Okay. So, Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati, has incubated a startup beta tank robotics and developed two robotic solutions that efficiently maintain and clean petroleum tank. It eliminated the need of human entry for this hazardous tank. These robots are valuable addition in oil industry, making it safer, more cost effective, and environment responsible. Okay. Now, question number four is saying that Indian Navy has recently decommissioned which long-range maritime patrol aircraft in October 2023. So, it is the latest news. So, Tuplov 2, 142, Illusion 2, 38, Kamov Ka, 25, Atonov and 26. So the correct answer of question number 4 is Illusion 2, 38. Illusion 2, 38. And the news is that Indian Navy's Illusion 38 Sea Dragon Long Range Maritime Patrol aircraft bid farewell after 46 years of glorious service to the nation. The decommission ceremony was held at INS Hansa, the Bolim. INAS 315 was commissioned on 1st of October 1977 with the induction of IL-38 aircraft heralding a modern era of airborne long-range maritime. So, recon, uh, reconnaissance and anti-submarine warfare. So, right, uh, just remember the name that is uh, Illusion 238. Okay. Now, let's come on news number 5. Or the question number five. The Army Aviation Corps have celebrate has celebrated its 38 raising day on which day? First November, 30 October, 2 November, or 31st October? Question number five. Correct answer is first of November. So first of November, Army Aviation Corps has celebrated 38 raising day. 
So Army Aviation Corps celebrated 38 Raising Day today. That is 1st of November. One of the youngest corp of Indian Army, Army Aviation, has created a separate arm on 1st November 1986. Over the time, corp has evolved. Over the time, corp has evolved into a decision, third dimensional maneuver arm, rendering a definite combat edge to the field force commander. Army Chief Manoj Pandey extended greetings to the Army Aviation Corps. Question number six, which state has banned marine fishing in olive turtle habitation corridors? So which state has banned marine fishing in olive riddle, ridley, olive ridley turtle habitation corridors? Question number six, Gujarat, Keral, Manipur or Odisha So the correct answer is D option that is Odisha, Odisha. Now the news is saying that Odisha government clamped a seven month long prohibition on sea fishing activities within 20 km of the coast of Kendrapara, where olive ridley turtle have come offshore to nest and lay eggs. The measure will remain in force from November 1 to 31st May in the following area as per Odisha Maritime Fishing Regulation Act 1982 and Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Now let's read question number seven. Question number seven is saying that <clears throat> who has been nominated to lead the World Health Organization Southeast Asia region? Tedros Adhanom, Saima Vazid, Rod, Rodrigo H. Ofrin, S. Swaminathan. So who has been nominated? World Health Organization Southeast Asia region. We covered this news in DNA yesterday and the correct answer is the daughter of Bangladesh Prime Minister, that is Saima Wajid. So Bangladesh Saima Wajid has been nominated to the World Health Organization in Southeast Asia region. Member countries voted to nominate her as the next regional director of United States Health Body according to WHO, Southeast Asia region office. Wajid is a clinical psychologist and daughter of Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Question number eight. Government of India has approved how much investment to global solar facility under ISA? $25 million, $10 million, $45 million or $30 million? So question number eight, correct answer is option number eight, that is $25 million. So Indian Solar Alliance, that is ISA, Global solar facility is set to receive a capital contribution contribution of $35 million. The government of India is considering $25 million investment as capital contribution to global solar facilities. ISA to provide $10 million to GSF emits a $12.5 trillion global renewable energy investment gap and the GSF setups to bridge the divide. Okay. Let's read question number nine. Question number nine is saying that in which country is the world first AI safety summit being organized? France, US, Britain, India. Correct answer is option number C that is Britain. So world first AI safety summit, Britain. So world first AI safety summit has started in European countries, Britain, many countries including India, America, France, Singapore are participating in this conference. Union Minister Rajiv Chandra Shekhar is representing India at two-day summit starting on November 1 in Bucking Buckinghamshire in the southern England. This is the first time that such AI safety summit is being organized. Now the question number 10 or our last question of today is saying that in which dictionary has the word baseball related to cricket has been added Oxford, Collins, Webster or Cambridge. Correct answer is Collins. So, recently the word baseball related to cricket has been included in prestigious Collins dictionary. This world is used to adopt aggressive approach in the game of cricket. This term was first used by Andrew Miller. This world came into discussion when Brendan McCullum was made the captain of England test team. 
so this is the last of our current affairs show and the daily news analysis i hope you like the video if you like the videos you can join center map or follow center map in some platforms like telegram center map ssc rrb centrum.academy's web browser and we have two youtube channels first one is in english and second one is hindi the link will be given in the description box so that you can join it without facing any difficulty so if you like the content just hit the, the like button subscribe the center map official youtube channel i am manas mishra signing off and we'll meet tomorrow with some fresh news and daily news analysis till then bye take care have a nice day like and share with your friends and subscribe to our center map youtube channel